All right, uh, today I'm installing the aftermarket uh, M5 replica bumpers uh, for uh, the E39 BMW 5 Series. In this case, it's a 528i. So mine comes uh, as a stock bumper, non-sport. Uh, so this is the bumper that I'm putting in. So that's the grill, uh, radiator grill on this bumper some accessories you can see that's the fog light chambers those holes so removing it uh, the original was pretty simple but then what happened is I didn't know that I have to uh, watch out for something else that uh, I never found in a in another YouTube video this is the bumper upside down uh, there is a reason it's like that uh, I can't really put it the other way around so you can see it's uh, uh, so I don't do that the fog light chamber this is the uh, bottom part uh, came in a gray color I painted it white I actually plastic dipped it um, I still have to put another coat, but uh, my color is uh, original metallic blue. It's called Beeritz metallic blue. So I'm painting the whole rest of the car next week uh, in this color. So I'll put another coat on the bumper. <laughs> so here is the problem. So when you take out the old one, you will see this heavy metal beam it's called a carrier in the um, BMW website or if you go to real oem.com uh, with your VIN number last seven of your VIN number if you punch it in you will see uh, in the front bumper section there is a carrier this one stays behind your bumper actually this is the main frame that you must need because um, the bumper if this one uh, sticks to the bumper with this uh, expanding rivets you can see here I have a piece here somewhere let me see I kept the door right there so sorry I can focus on it. You can see that expanding rivet. So it's a pain to take them out, especially the ones inside. But uh, I ended up breaking the ones inside because I'll buy some new ones. You can get it from uh, any local BMW. Those are like 30 cents or something each that's cheap um, so this uh, rivets there is one here I need one here two three four and then uh, there are one there are a couple of them here you can see those holes they actually go from the front of the bumper so basically what happens is uh, uh, they are behind the uh, bumper strip in this case the bumper strips are not all the way only on the left and right so they are like I don't know about uh, eight of them those strips I'm sorry the rivet expanding rivet so you have to take them out from the original bumper it stays exactly like this you take them out take this beam out and place it on the new one and just uh, put it back on and um, the reason you need this is you can see this is the uh, uh, lower radiator grill portion I'm going from the inside so this is the top see that hole 
and if you can see it aligns with that uh, nut on top which is there see that so the nut goes through here it's a long nut this long and then screws in here so it locks itself basically and in between the shock bumper I mean bumper shock uh, it's a shock absorber that uh, is attached to the body of the uh, car and there are two of them another one here you can see uh, it's tough to get a view from here you can see that my camera is on the other side so it's tough to see on this one anyway so you get the idea so the shock bumper stays in between so it goes through the shock bumper bumper shock i mean keep saying the other way around and screws in here which holds the bumper the main two uh uh long screws that hold the bumper and rest of it is just uh uh, other screws at the fender line uh, under the fender uh, you will find I think you have to remove two on each side two on each side inside uh, be in front of your front tires and uh, on the original one the hood grill is not consistent like not a one piece so you have to remove a piece here piece here the, they have rivets too. You take those rivets off and then you expose that uh, screw that you can take out and then the whole bumper just comes off the bracket here on the sides, each side. So you just pull and it comes off. I'm not showing you uh, the other part here. I'll try to make a video uh, in front of the car uh, showing how it looks like when it comes off and uh, how it's set down and that's that rubber piece you can see long rubber piece that you have to take off from the original bumper and place it on the edge of this so that I have a good protection in there too that rubber piece I'm still about to install the fog lights and everything and I'm gonna go ahead and buy some clips that I broke so that I can finish the project. Now I'll probably uh, go through another video showing you how it looks like after. Alright, thanks for watching.